All right, y'all. I don't know if we made a mistake or what's going to happen today. There is someone coming over today. And I don't know if I'm ready for this. So we've been in touch with a man via email. And he's coming over. He's coming over today. He's going to be talking to us. He's going to be asking us questions that I don't really know what kind of questions he's going to be asking. I don't know how invasive this is going to be. Uh, I'm a little nervous. I don't know quite what's going to shake down today. How are you feeling? I think I feel pretty much the same way. I don't know what to expect. I'm pretty nervous. This guy is coming. We've never met him before. I don't know what he's going to be doing exactly. If we're going to have to get like personal. I know you don't like to get personal. This guy is a professional. We checked out his channel beforehand and this guy knows his stuff. I feel like he might be exposing some stuff that we may not want to get exposed. Like how amateurish our, uh, <laughs> <laughs> what we do out here is. I'm sure this guy has a much higher end equipment. And then uh, here we are with our cell phones uh, recording everything out here. Uh, I don't know, it should be interesting. We'll find out. I think he should be here soon. So now if you're new here, my wife Jess and I, we live off grid here in the Arizona desert, building our own earth bag house. Hey, building it together. <laughs> <laughs> I actually felt a lot more comfortable than I thought I would. You know, he came out here to uh, see what we're doing, ask us some questions, really get kind of down to the nitty gritty on why we're doing what we do out here. And maybe because, you know, I'm so used to kind of being in front of the camera already, it didn't feel as awkward as I thought it would be. Honestly, this is the first time we met and I kind of felt like uh, a sort of kinship with him. Crew dog. It was fun kind of chit-chatting with him. I got to see uh, a little bit of uh, what he does as far as like his equipment and all the cameras he used. He had like multiple cameras and like before he was filming he was checking the white balance and stuff like that and uh, I was interested in the uh, microphones he was using. I definitely got some tips. I was probably more nervous than you were. Yeah? And I don't know, maybe it's because you generally do more of the filming than I do and you're a little more comfortable in front of the camera. But <laughs> I was a little bit nervous. Not, it wasn't too bad. But you were in the hot seat. Yeah. So how did it feel being interviewed and then being interviewed about being interviewed? Well, that, that part's kind of weird. The first interview or the second interview? The current interview. <laughs> Look at that, I'm filming you and Strons at the same time. But he films everything, pretty much everything in detail. And I think we really got to talk in depth about what we do and what we're all about. So that was... Invasive? In, uh, yeah. 
<laughs> maybe <laughs> a little, but it was interesting. I thought it was really interesting just watching a professional filmmaker working. It really reminded me of why we make videos. You know, videos are an art form where a bunch of different elements come together to tell a story. And that's what we're trying to do is tell our story by just sharing our lives. I guess stories are a form of communication. For me, my hope is that we can communicate our story in a way that creates positive connections with everyone that watches it. That's something we're trying to improve. Uh, maybe one day we'll get to that professional filmmaking level, but you know, we do the best that we can with that. Strands actually went to film school. He has a finely honed craft and uh, he's been working all, a long time at this. We're just kind of learning things as we go picking up things here and there. Time to eat, y'all. I hope that our videos are connecting with you and creating positive connections. It's my belief that that's really the way to create a better world is by connecting with other people because you know each one of us alone we're just part of this bigger story. Really to get the whole picture you have to be able to share with others and connect with love and kindness and also listen with understanding and compassion. You don't have to be a professional filmmaker or like a social media influencer. I think it's something that anyone can do. Maybe it just comes in the form of a smile or encouragement or like a small kindness that you give to someone who needs a little love. No, I mean, that's a really good point. I mean, if I'm ever out and about uh, driving down these country roads, I always love just kind of waving at the cars that, uh, that are passing by. And I feel that's just like this brief moment of connection. It's just folks passing by, living in the country, and uh, just wishing each other well, even if it's for that brief moment. Yeah, right, just a simple act of kindness. Uh, that's genuine, that comes from your heart, I think it can make a difference. Like every time you do that, I think you are, are making a connection that ultimately makes the world a better place for everyone. We are honored. We got contacted here by Strons to uh, come out here, kind of talk a little bit about what we do. Thank you for heading all the way down here. You're based out of Phoenix, right? Yeah, Phoenix. So it was a little bit of a drive, but not too bad. I think, <laughs> I, I think I've driven further for a different one. What is it that you do exactly? So I started Paragraphic as a way to tell stories like yours and like many other people who are doing cool, interesting things, building things, making things, doing stuff. Just a way to capture that, document it, put it on film, and hopefully inspire and motivate other people. It took a while for us to be able to kind of film and do what we do out here and learn what we've learned this guy is definitely a professional checking the lighting checking the uh, white balance and everything like that i'm like what is all this stuff <laughs> this is all new to me this guy knows how to make uh, a really good film tell a really good story uh that paragraphic channel is amazing thank you i 
went to film school and I've had lots of clients over the years, but I just wanted to tell the stories that I wanted to tell and kind of shine a light on people who otherwise probably wouldn't really be seen unless they're doing it themselves like you are. But there's a lot of people like you that don't have a YouTube channel either. So uh, it's kind of cool to go out there and see what people are actually doing and making in the world um, for themselves and for others. And it was a pleasure having you out here. It was so great. Like this is really impressive that the two of you were able to build all this yourselves. You're impressed by my filmmaking. Like I'm impressed by your <laughs> construction skills because uh, I learn something new every time too. Well, I hope you had a good time out here and uh, touring the property and uh, seeing what we're doing out here. It was a joy having you out here. I'm jealous. 40 acres is like my dream. <laughs> well, there's still some uh, cheap property to be had if you're, uh, if you're willing to look. So maybe we'll have a new neighbor someday. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we put ourselves on YouTube. We didn't really know what to expect. And we had the honor of sort of kind of building a community around what we're doing here. And some people feel compelled to contribute in some way. They and, reach out to us. And that's really cool. Yeah. It's something I never really expected. And it's absolutely heartwarming uh, getting to meet some of these people that we've inspired. You know, uh, I remember watching YouTube back in the day and people have inspired us. And now uh, we get to sort of return that favor to other people. And, uh, you know, some people, you know, when we touch their hearts, they reach out to us and we've got some amazing gifts. I mean, you remember those uh, door handles we received not too long ago, right? Yeah, those are amazing. Those are amazing. And we got to show you guys these other things. Come along and we're going to show you uh, just some of these things that people have, have done. So this is really cool. I mean, I mentioned on a, a previous video about how much I love, you know, metal cabinets, metal filing cabinets and stuff like that. I was also talking about how I wanted to do some drone work. And we got contacted by one of our viewers, Bill. He owns some land up uh, north of us. He likes to call it Billville. So he ended up finding this really cool metal cabinet that he picked up on the cheap. And he presented it as a little bit of a gift to us. And I, you know how I, lo I love my metal cabinets. These are perfect for storing tools and whatever. It's, it's perfect for out here. Uh, but that's not all. I mean, his wife, very talented artist, and uh, she personalized it. Wait till I show you guys this, it's amazing. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Taking that's Jess. Got a crew there. There's me. Good luck on your build from Billville. Well, Bill, Emmy, uh, thank you so much for this. We love it. Yeah, I feel like uh, this is going to be an awesome storage cabinet for me. And then, of course, I got to uh, protect this painting because I know, uh, you know we really appreciate that. Both of us being artists. Uh, what did you call this? You have a style for it? I think it's called Chibi. It's a Japanese style. I, kinda, I think that makes sense. I think Emmy's Japanese. It's actually perfect because Jess here is part Japanese, so it's perfect. And check this out, y'all. Uh, one of our viewers, uh, Bob, sent us these. This is amazing. A door knocker, the lion head, and this awesome letterbox. So I opened this package the other day, and I was just absolutely blown away. I mean, these pieces are absolutely beautiful. So these are definitely gonna be part of the house build for sure. You know, I'll just say it's, it's kind of interesting because this home is definitely a vision that we tried to build. It definitely has a lot of our personal attributes we wanna add in there, but it's becoming something more too. It's uh, also kind of becoming sort of like a community type build as well because of you know these things that people send to us that are going to become a part part of the home uh suggestions that people have made that are becoming part of the home so it's really it's our home but it's also like sort of like a it's community your home too. <laughs> in a way it's a kind of a community build and okay. it just makes it that much more special yeah it's something i never expected or was thinking about when we started this, but I love it. Okay. I think it's great. You know, this is not all we've received. I wanna say thank you to each and every one of you. Um, even if it's just 
you know, a comment or a suggestion or a kind of fun, interesting idea you might have. Uh, we really appreciate all of that. These gifts are wonderful, but you folks just being part of our community and just, you know, just watching our videos have been, it's just been an honor. That's the biggest gift, I think. Just sharing this journey with us, sharing these experiences with us. It means more than you will ever know, for sure. Guard dog always on duty. You on duty? What you got in your face? What you got in your face?